Hi everyone, this is Sais for bestcbookcareers.com. Today I'm going to cover how you go about handling ebook audiobooks on your Kindle Fire HD. So once you have audiobooks or you want to buy audiobooks or that go listen to them, you have to go to your audiobook section. And this is where you can search for your audiobooks. You can see what you can buy or sample. You have the new and notable, you have the featured series, you have all that so you can download all these. You can go through your own library to see what you have stored in the cloud and on your device. Now I don't have a whole lot here, but let me go back. So once you tap on something, you can play the sample right here and you do also have the option to see all. You have the ratings. You can refine your search by average customer review, which is what I usually do. But date also matters as well. So let's say I want to find something on science fiction if you have an audible account obviously as you can see at the top you can get some audiobooks for free so the sample is actually 14 minutes it seems And if you tap on it, you can download and you, you do have the option to go and go through your audiobook titles by author, by recent title and length. Now, I don't know about you. I don't really use my Kindle Fire HD to listen to audiobooks. I have an iPod and also iPhone and I found those to be more uh, easier to use for me for uh, for podcasts and audiobooks and things like that. I use my, my Kindle Fire to read books and also play around with apps. One thing you can do is let me go back to audiobooks and Let's see if I can find a free audiobook. I doubt. Well, this is for free, so that's that does. So it's downloading and I can listen to it right now. Once it's finished, the speed is a little bit low in my office. You can go and go different position as far as what you're listening. You can rewind by 30 seconds. That's what this 30 sign icon here means. You do have the option to add bookmarks and notes. So I created a bookmark right there and that that's basically I can create multiple ones if I want and once I click on that menu this little icon here on the right side of your screen you should be able to see your bookmarks and notes and it says when it was taken the time it was taken 
and um, you do also have the option to set up the sleep timer if you want. This little icon right there. This one it shows you the chapters. Let me put the sleep timer to 30 minutes. So you do have a lot of options and stopping audio is not really that difficult. You also get whisper sync for voice, which is allows you to keep listening to your audio on any device as far as you know, you stop and you want to start from the same position. That's what comes to, comes down to. Amazon also has the whole idea of having the ebook version and the audiobook version. That way, when you're reading and listening, you may return retain information easier. So that option is available. For for this to work, you do need to have the both both the ebook version and the audible audiobook version, and um, then you open your Kindle book and then the immersion reading is going to be available to you there, but um, you do need to have the book. So even if you have the free audiobook, the book might not be free. So you, you want to keep that in mind. As far as let's go back. I can add it to my favorite by just tapping and holding just like anything else. Just like in your Kindle free time, you can add and you can tap and hold to add to your favorites. The same applies here. And your option, your audiobook is going to avail be available at the bottom of your screen once you tap this little star icon. And you can remove your from your favorites or your from your device easily as well. Different sorting options. If I don't want it on my device and just want it to be um, in the cloud. So you really have that all that. See, I, I can remove it from my device, but it's on my in the cloud and then I can download it again. Just to show you how, show you how it works. Search. Pretty basic. I do want to show you something on the store. The store part is the neatest part for me because it helps find all kinds of different things. See, you can, for instance, you can go and find new items, editors pick, also the ones that actually have the option for immersion reading. So you don't have to, you don't have to guess what eBooks are available with the audiobook bundles. So you just go and see you can try it even for free. Or you can buy these books and go from there. So let me add narration for free. It, it does take a couple of more steps to set it up properly. But once you're there, so you buy the book, you buy, you add the narration, and now So you can see the narration is at the bottom. You also have it's loading because it, it, my internet connection is slow in the office, and that's why it's taking a little bit of time. 
it's also a long book, so I assume I would assume that's why the narration uh, is the audio file is taking a little bit of time to load. So as you can see, the what's being read is being highlighted on the screen. You can also change the speed if you like. So that's about it. It's how you handle audiobooks on your Kindle Fire. I like the fact that you get a lot of, not a lot, but few options on books and also audiobooks to try for free so that's a nice part and uh, you also the store part is really my favorite because you can search for the content that works for you and go from there i hope you enjoyed this video for more information for more apps and for more tips please go to bestiebookers.com also if you like this video please rate it and subscribe to our channel thank you very much for watching guys